listen guys listen guys thank you for staying tuned we are in the final hour of the show but i realize i love the talk the thing segment them you know i like i realize i like to participate all right so guys it is time for talk the thing with kim yours truly and as i said earlier for this week's topic we're gonna be talking about dating deal breakers so them something that what if it go on it just basically done this so yeah that's what we will be discussing so guys remember i'm not here to preach i'm not here to well i'm here to teach to an extent but we want a conversation going so remember for future giveaways if you participate in the live and all that you get extra entries and just for joining on the live you get extra entries in the future giveaways and challenges and in amount prize and one bugger thing all right yep yep all right so no we don't have any guest speakers this week what so what we're not enough you know um bad girl chevy what are you trying to tell us like she never read the script bad girl never see the list what we send you <laughs> she never help type it all right so, so guys turn offs when dating or in the dating stage let's get to it all right all right so number one and these are the most popular ones i did a survey i asked a bugger people right. men women i bugger them and say yo tell me a top turn offs probably five you and know you, and if you're listening and you don't hear yours send this on the comments or you can drop it via whatsapp eight seven six two one two nine eight two four or eight seven six four six two zero nine one nine yeah join the discussion people. so if you agree or you disagree make we know if you have something else that you think wasn't mentioned i need to be mentioned make we know all right all right so the very first one is they don't put themselves together or carry themselves well so and this happened this was a popular response for both men and women they don't dress you know they're not too decent and what they specifically said is that your clothes don't need to be trendy or expensive because you have cheap and clean but just make sure say you look good. When I say anything of the latest or short things or whatever, just ensure that whatever you put on, it look decent, you know, can carry a road and show you off. As I saying, our coffin season, nothing else when you can dress for the Christmas when we had touch the road, yeah? All right. Ah, rude to customer service staff. All right. Miss Wadade, I hope you know that stuck point, you know. Miss Wadade, big of yourself. She said, rude to customer service staff. The real bad girl, Chevy, says, stinking foot is a turn off. <laughs> right? And that's actually the very next one. Ebony D said it as well. Poor hygiene. So, guys, yeah, my like on the start, the flag thing. So, guess what? If it's a red flag for you drop some flag all right so the first one is it that serious the person can't really dress is it something you think you can teach them or you just have to have it or probably they have a different style from you let me know your feedback on that as well uh all right yeah man we did that we did that. i see a message all right so poor hygiene or bad breath that's the second one so guys we know that some of us like the color green but we don't need to really smell the color that we like and that's a big issue for many people out here me know that sometimes in a bus or in a taxi and it smells smelly yeah guys we don't know if it's a medical reason we don't know what could be the cause but it, it's not a good look actually it's not a good smell I could not even say it's not a good look. It's not a good smell. We need to change that smell, all right? I, I don't know if we need to come up with like a action plan or something. It don't work. So that bad bread something that as well, guys, it can be because <laughs> everybody, I, I try. I, I try to be very open and honest with enough. I can talk the things them. I don't in the comfort here, don't it? All right. Um, everybody loves a can guide them, man. Uh, Sammy Joe says, still teachable, style teachable, but them are for willing to learn. All right, so guys have to be open to learn as well. So them come to you and say, boy, babe, you know, if you did wear something like that or with your body type, probably this work look better. Or, you know, your broad shoulders, them, man, a button up shirt would look nice. Guys, be open to that. Them not this, you know, them are try help to make you better. Yeah, I mean, these things basically, well, the second one here, hygiene, I mm -hmm. mean, it sound, sounds fixable, but I think the roughest part is 
trying to get through to them and that's that's actually tough yeah. i'm not gonna lie because i remember guys there was a one situation at a workplace that i had and there was an, a person that had a scent and everybody would pass and smell it right like it became a discussion for people were like oh just pass around and see and you smell it and i felt a way about that even though it wasn't me i'm like you know why we all make it a conversation the yeah. person not gonna feel uncomfortable what we need to do is have somebody go to her but then everybody's question to me was so kim what we're gonna say to her right and you know I never saying? knew what to tell That's them. The rough part. How do I address you to say, hey, um, hmm, it rough, but guys. I don't know. I think you have to get somebody that probably their best, best friend where you know, say, you know, they talk to them about it. But I don't think any everybody can get to them and tell them. That, yeah, yeah, it, it rough, it but. Rough. That's a trick. But. Listen, I'm soon as send them in, get some I'm soon get to them yeah. because now dropping a whole heap. <laughs> um, and this one from Cloud Andrew says, um, dress code barely matter to men. Well, true. For so for all time men in no, I'm not gonna say it barely matter. I think it matters because men as well like for no say the girl what them have, she look good. You understand that they they probably appreciate to an extent mm -hmm. say, you know, other man are pre me of her. Yeah, I mean, but I'm saying the, the level. We, yeah, we, we have so a lower level. So in a serious, like him, I'm gonna left yeah. you, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna left you because you don't dress decent. Yeah. But if he does address it, like mm -hmm. don't run him or say, you know, you don't love me. That's, like, that's you don't love me, and you, you know, yeah, you want all these other women. Just start dressing. Ask him what he want. Go shopping and have him there. If he's willing, because I know men and that shopping thing. Yeah. Boy, arm can get like a tip sack. You know, I'm like when you did wear the blows, I'm like the style blows that on you or yeah. that skirt, you know? So it's conversation. It's all about good communication. I, I think we'd probably need a, a, a segment mm -hmm. to get in persons to, you know, learn or get tips on how to communicate these things. Because we, we see the problem, you know, but most persons, I think I saw a comment um, somewhere earlier where the girl says she does not talk back to the guy. <laughs> yeah, you but, can't like, take it that way. You know, she can, I mean, because it, it's going to happen to you probably in another relationship. So at least try and see if you can tell the person, say, you know, oh, boy, you need to check out this thing. Mm -hmm. Or just learning how to communicate these things. And it's not even only the communication. Communicating is one part of it. But mm -hmm. being open well, that too, again. to that mm -hmm. opinion and that criticism. Because even though the word criticize, I think will make it a bad word. Mm -hmm. Criticize is not necessarily a bad thing, you know. It's just that we need to be a bit more open-minded to it because sometimes we don't see the things and we just need to be understanding and understand that there's things that we need to work on all right so um, and this person says um if it's body odor at work that's a hr match <laughs> if it no that's the thing eventually a senior manager went to her i don't know how she addressed it yeah. but i chose someone i know that would i have talks because you know i know just anybody could have said talk to her so i was very selective in who I went to and I was like hey you know this is a case and it's not a big conversation I'm not really want to get in a bigger can you go address it and she was asking me as well what make a tell her but she went over there and I, I think the issue was fixed after because I don't remember that being an issue or a discussion <laughs> after Something happened. so yeah. yeah but guys if those things happen it's not for you to go and chat to everybody about it you know some people really have somebody mentioned yeast infection sometimes somebody think that they probably don't know about themselves yeah. guys be a bit more open minded right. and just be considerate be considerate it can be a thing that yeah. they're very insecure about and not really sure how to deal and with it. And it can happen to you too, you know, because sometimes, you know, like you, go, you, you left a you yard without the other hand. Oh, you're going to look <laughs> play, you play like a game, like a basketball, you come out for the court. And because you're so, you know, into the game or you mix up with the people, you know, really smell the difference. But when you reach us, you know, people where never they play can pick up the difference and say, no, brother, mm -mm. You, have, you need to go well, I show her, you know? Exactly. So sometimes you don't notice. Are you into the, you know, the, yeah. All right, so to Miss Wadid, so I was working in the U.S. and had some Russian friends and other staff voted me to tell them about the body odor. <laughs> I told them, and guess what? Massive Russian links after, yeah. and they changed. So they became good friends, you okay, know, because you can okay. have, so it depends on how you address it. Yeah. Chevy yeah. said, real bad girl, Chevy said, go to the person in a good way, talk to them correctly, and as a mature person. Yeah. Uh, real bad girl, Chevy said, I was wrong because... I should have gone to a person. It wasn't my place. I was I was on her level. Yeah. So I just wanted somebody, you know, fitting to go. So, yeah. Sometimes you, you don't have to be the person. You don't have to be, but you can. But yeah. You I mean, just be never want to become a tell. big conversation. Right. Sammy said, if the person cannot keep up with your lifestyle, if you meet me doing X, don't ask me to stop because you can't join. That that's is that's that bit, whole discussion. That's a good yeah, point. Yeah. That's a bit tricky. If you see me a certain way, see me and accept it. God, that's a bit tricky because I can I I'm just saying this off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of women 
their aim is to make the guy into their guy. Yeah, guys. Mm-mm. We don't we, we don't take up build a man and, and build then a woman. When the guy say, you know, say me think you kind of move look as so, you have to accept me as I am, you know. Yeah, <laughs> so and it's very that's tricky. another thing that I remember somebody pointed thing. out that they always say, you know, men need to change, you yeah. know, for the woman. And then if the women are addressed yeah. on certain things, well, accept me if, if you, you don't love me as me, I right. am. No, it's, guys, we have to look into we that. need to stop. It's a combative, yeah, it's about open communication. We can't complain so people can't not communicate, and then when they do, it's a problem. It's we right. can't do that. We have to, yeah, pick our battles, people. <laughs> All right, so those are the first two points. The uh-huh. third point point is being overly occupied with their phone or distracted by other people ah. so this is on a date now right so for this segment as well it don't necessarily mean that you've already gone on a date we right. ask for quest for answers for even before the date probably just communicating mm-hmm. uh, while on the date or after a date and that's a dating stage that's why we put it a general stage right all right so being overly occupied with their phone or distracted by other people when on a date mm-hmm. guys that's a red flag me know you know see the flag them but i really think that red flag ish mm-hmm. why that serious so it's me and you out and we're here at a mm-hmm. table together and we're supposed to be communicating yeah. and every second you check check your phone and your whatever you probably snap two time or whatever i shouldn't find that disrespectful no i'm not saying all right you see I'm just saying that not everybody finds it disrespectful. Mm-hmm. It people, was very common, actually. Sometimes, sometimes you find... No, I'm not saying it's not going to come on the list a lot, you know. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying that you probably find sometimes that these person find them match. Mm-hmm. Suppose the other person, they put them phone too. You get what I'm saying? So then just over... So they're used to each other, just, no, you know... We yeah. now look upon them technicalities yeah. there. Right? We are looking at the fact that it's disrespectful, guys. Okay. I personally think overall it is. Yeah. If it is that... You see, if we're... Two different places in the yard, me, there, my yard, and we're communicating over the phone. That's different okay, if we're yeah. not in the same space. But if me invite you to dinner <laughs> and we out and I dress up and you dress up and we, mm. we're supposed to be enjoying time with each other, yeah. but it's me, you, and the phone, a red flag. Oh, gee. Don't do it. And I'm not saying you can't check. My naga said, don't touch the phone yeah, all night. Yeah, I get you. I get it's you. not. That no, either, because OD, yeah, don't OD because you can probably check if your, mo- your mother probably had checked. You probably have a bridge in your oh, she look, yeah, she good, yeah, you know, good. You know, they may do that, and that's fine, but constantly throughout the night, they probably actually. I've had an instance where the mother tell me what update upon Instagram, Mm-mm, I don't even know what yeah, up on Instagram, yeah. we're in person. That means they are out of things to talk about. There's someone exactly, and real bad girl, we don't throw things, okay? I see you over there, but you're, you're planning to throw. <laughs> We don't show things. But yeah, she said two we can and cannot talk. And I said, be a red flag. Be yeah, a flag or yeah, drop. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. All right, how am I going to get to know you if your attention isn't here? That's a perfect point, and Ebony D. This is where it gets bad as well. When you realize you're going to have to start repeating stuff because they don't even pay attention. So that's, yeah, it's going to get out of Exactly. Hand. It's gonna get out of as John Bell, big up yourself, John, uh, prioritize the person, not the phone. All and right. guys, as my set coffin season has come up, may I try help you no? Know? Get and give Christmas gifts. I mean, no, no phone. No one, one matching um PJ. I mean, no, I mean, no, no one to not me work on it for no. This person says big disrespect for a person to be on a date on the phone. Yeah, exactly. True, and the second part, which uh, was distracted by other people, so that was explained. Like you know, I don't know if women. I, I don't know if women are men, <laughs> but sometimes you can see. It. I can see it if I'm out with that guy yeah. and a certain girl pass or something. I'm a look for the you know the eyes shift like a bit or you know it's a little yeah you know I mean he's looking at the brand of belt that she that has she's, on. I know because that belt, belt is just so unique brand and new he belt. just he almost yes. go over to her and ask her which belt that don't you? Right. Yes. Yeah, guys. <laughs> so little Miss Sophia, thank you for joining. Yes. So yeah, guys, distracted by other people. Right, so probably one girl would want a big butt and walk past or so or a big animal belt. Look. It could be a big belt. <laughs> or for the guys, probably a guy will pass and probably in cologne smell Rika. Listen, guys, may I tell you no one key. So in the cologne smell good, we head turning you know? up. I yeah. kid you not. That would get them attention. But when one too. scent pass and you say, Hold on. Mm. And you start look. But ladies, if you look, just blink one time. Don't look and stare. That's rude. You're out on a date. That is rude, all right? <laughs> just, just look quick. I was like, all right. You know? <laughs> and gentlemen, if you see the bottom, I guess so. Men are visual. We're not saying you're not going to look. 
right? But when you look like, boy, you're about to get up from the seat, yeah. yeah. That's a problem. Or you're about right? to lean over till you drop off of the chair. Right? Or all of a sudden, <laughs> you say, excuse me, and I need to go to the bathroom. No, me, I got pre Yeah. Me, she me, say, all of a sudden, going. she just pass, and all of a sudden, you have to walk away. You're going direction. somewhere. Listen, mm. listen. But yeah. I find, I find, I see, I see some persons, you know, what they're doing is they get, they get the ladies involved. So I'm, yeah. I, like, all I'll the have, ladies actually beat men to it. They will say, yo, look on the girl there. But I'm asking the ladies now, mm-hmm. is it okay? You know, are you that? Because I know not everybody might be the same. Yeah. But are you okay, ladies, for, for the guy to say, hey, no, so look on for her bumper. Are you okay with that as a lady? I don't mind. Well, first of all, me girl, brother. Probably if you get out of hand, like you might tell you. Yeah, times, when it's, it depends on how it's done. Yeah. I think there is a technicality. Mm-hmm. To how it's done, and plus you know the man. Well, this is dating. You probably don't know him that well. Because <laughs> right. I about to say you saying, know it's, your man. It's risky, you know, so I want to know how the ladies it feel. It is probably not in the dating stage. Wait till you know each other. I more. wouldn't say when you're dating, don't be pointing out another woman okay. to me. Because right, right now we're pre each other. I yeah. want to see if this could make sense if mm-hmm. we can go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So in the dating stage, no. Nah. Probably when you're comfortable and I get to a point where are you looking like this probably getting serious. Or and you see her make some comments to you and show you two girls and you can get yeah, yeah, okay. and you really say the door open for those conversations. Yeah. Okay. But True. guys, I feel like men, if a woman point out a man and say, Oh, the man they look good <laughs> Udo don't happy. Udo don't like it. We are going to a break. Udo don't like it. Talk to him. Me man for. Me, me no, because that's always what men say. Them always say that we more see him for. So I oh, fear, mm-hmm. it no fear. Mm-hmm. Me a point out, yeah, the girl look good now. Yo, she shape good in her. Yeah, yeah, girl, the clothes sit down, and we can have a whole conversation about how how good this girl look. Me, me say you're the man there. Listen to me, back. My like I'm Billy now. Back when I was in the. <laughs> Listen me, uh, oh, well, I wouldn't. I was a dating. I don't even know. Uh-huh. But I remember watching that show. I mean, I said, we always I watch that show, yeah. And she say, yeah, cause that guy here tonight. My my mates mash up. They say, oh no, we mean I watch show every day with this guy. Gentlemen, let me know if it's true or not. Can you handle if your woman I say, yeah, man, I like watch that that, that person. Then a boy him look good, him skin just <laughs> man. If me ever see my road, yeah. I can't let Pixel ever stop show it. (laughs) (laughs) J. John Bell agreed. He said, yeah, when no close, when they can't start with them conversation there, but not in the dating stage, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, so the next point is being loud or vulgar. This art, so this I had to group up a bunch of them, but they were very similar. It's all in a similar group, yeah. So, being loud or vulgar, Mm -hmm. people that chat bad, bad grammar, Mm Coarse language and too much expletives. You know, mm-hmm. the people that might use, by the word, like, is a second language. Or a, 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 a like, space between yeah, the words. Yeah, like, nothing can communicate unless you have one and two bad words yeah. in between. That's when they get them point across. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, that's a turn off for several people. It's a turn off for me. Like, I feel like if we're talk, we're talk. Yeah. Is that a red flag, guys? Drop some flags. Sammy Joe, agree. Baby, no, so look over the beep, beep, rain, and fall. Beep, beep. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you literally talk about the rain. Yo, you look on the beep beep rain. <laughs> like, what are unnecessary? You can't say look on the rain? No, sir. Yeah, J. John Bell said, a bugger flag. <laughs> like, I feel like him buy out the whole shop at the flag them. Because, yeah, yeah. real bad girl Chevy. Yeah, guys, it's a red flag. It's not cute. <laughs> it's not cute. Like, it turned me off, and chances are on that date, I'm already at this time, and I'll see you again after this. I, I'm not the person that will outrightly tell you, all right, may I cut? Yeah. This is not gonna fur it up, I'm not gonna that come respect. You know, I'm not really out to hurt people like that. But just know so when I left the date there, yeah. You know, see me again. And, and somebody <laughs> sent in a, 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 a comment saying that, you know, the whole um being distracted by other women and you know, calling out other women and showing her showing your partner other women. Yeah. If said that I really when you're with the side piece. <laughs> <laughs> Listen and then now uh, mix me now. Oh, no, not going to mix me. Yeah, I only run them, give them this, <laughs> Shanti piece. says that's a definite turn mm-hmm. off. So, yeah, guys. All right. So, the, someone said earlier when I was doing the survey, the being loud or vulgar, him don't necessarily have an issue. Because if that's how you are, that's just how you are. Yeah, right? Some people, that's what I said, some people they are attracted to those it, persons. Right? So or probably their person right. is like that. So, they're not going to say, him mm-hmm. go red flag you right. and not talk to you and then maybe as well as your mature or if you get close I'm can say boy you know my like when you're a bit more serene a little yeah. calmer you know and then mm-hmm. maybe she might I don't know how she going to answer mm-hmm. or him going to answer but it's not a red flag or a deal breaker right. but the constant expletives from many people is a deal breaker mm-hmm. the bad grammar one I felt some type of way about reason being 
everybody need love. If we all avoid the people that with the bad grammar, who going to love them? No, that's what, that's, what, that's what I tell you. No, it's not all bad because there are some persons who are attracted to these people. So the bad grammar. There's somebody for everybody. No, of the course. The bad grammar. Of somebody course. Is attracted to the bad grammar. Suppose they speak that language. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so that's what I was wondering. So if they understand if people with bad grammar, are going match with people with bad grammar because it's their grammar. <laughs> So they're like, he speaks like my language, culture. she speaks my language. <laughs> no, of, if you, listen I get, I get Right you. now, there's people, if I go there and I'm talking, hey, how are you doing? What's yeah, going on? Yeah, my bad turn off. Them, I feel them like them less than them, I don't may approve something, nah, me this, nah, me it's that. It's true. People, people have different feelings, but trust me, somehow, there are somebody for, there's somebody for everybody. Well, why I touched mm-hmm. on it, because I was like, well, bad grammar don't necessarily mean yeah. that you're a bad person. Right, true. It says nothing about your character I or your say, personality. I know, so you can learn if I you know, want so you to you don't learn. have sense, because enough of them, guys, even they can't pronounce properly or the words aren't constructed them properly, them have a whole heap of sense. Mm-hmm. Don't underestimate them, mm-hmm. right? But for some persons, they'll never get to know that of them or that about them <laughs> because of the bad grammar. Oh, geez. Somebody uh, said that the loud and vulgar women are normally the easy women. I, I don't know. Me don't know, you know. Me don't know. At least it's my uh, got to tell me. We have to see the research papers true. like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody loves to see wrestling, Lionel. But the bad grandma, you know. <laughs> no, but it makes it's sense. It's true. It's true. And, jo- and J. John Bell agreed. He said some people have have had grammar mm-hmm. or have bad grammar mm-hmm. but very intellectual yeah it's true I mean basically you know sometimes it's just how you talk what you're yeah. used to or what you feel com- comfortable doing exactly because probably the, the, the tricky thing though is just knowing if the person can adjust if the person is aware yeah because then you might say boy you know if I go somewhere you yeah, might, some people you might want to adjust a little you know yeah. but otherwise if you're cool or you're in the environment it's not really so critical yeah once and you know that the person flexible but as I say, some people don't like it. So yeah, and I and I understand if yeah. it's something that you can't work with, that is fine yeah, as well. You like are it. entitled to your choices mm-hmm. and what you like. Mm-hmm. And if I mean for me, it may be a little difficult to see past it. I'm gonna be very honest. Yeah. But I may be willing to try. But sometimes I can make me cringe a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. It make me cringe a little bit yeah. sometimes. But as, as you say, everybody has somebody yeah, out there. Somebody say it depends on your environment. Yeah. So that true. too. Yeah. That is very true. Mm -hmm. All right. So the next one is pretentious people. That is people that put on an image. So it's also lying, right? It's basically that. So guys, the pretentious persons, the persons that put on an image, you know, then come probably the outfit what them have on and not really fit them on because them just see the one come floss funny you know them they might tell you you know the car in the garage I can't come pick you up now and them no one said them have a 10 to a turbo I use at day time you understand like and you don't need to lie about anything this, if you that. you don't need to because guess what one day make a find out the truth and but they'll find out the truth oh it's going to help you alright here I'm jumping with that one day you see right now Especially in the dating world right now. I'm not saying you're supposed to lie on them something, you know. I'm mm-hmm. not up for it, you know, but I'm just saying really and truly, sometimes, sometimes, mm-hmm. these ladies don't give you a chance. And I understand that, but if you're going to lie, forget her. And then she'll go find out, say, you really don't have no car in the garage. This mm. garage probably don't exist. But that, that, by that time, Kim, she's in love with you. She's in love. So, so she'll look past, you know, you lied lo- to me in the beginning. Is and it's fine. Yeah. So you'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll get her. But at that point, no, you know, really and truly, when you reach there, you know, here you know. So I really want a girl that we never did want me because I never have no care. Exactly. So and that's like. supposed to make so, you question things too. All right. So that's that's a trick. That's what I'm saying. I don't recommend it. But in, a, in a, some cases, some people, when you ask them, how did you guys meet? Sometimes that's some lie where the man tell to get them attention or do something to get them attention. For open up them eyes because some woman here is lucky you know. Mm-hmm. And them don't even know say how they love for them life this. What's it going? Sammy Joe said love ain't that blind. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> May agree with you, Sammy, because that don't make no sense. <laughs> J. John Bell said I'd rather a humble person with bad grammar than to deal with a pretentious person. True, Those true, ladies true. aren't for you then, fam. Not everyone is for everyone. See? Values are crucial. So yeah, you might feel like you have to make up some story for get her or get him. Mm-hmm. But guys, the fact is the truth of a come out one day. Yeah. If it's not your real ear, make him know. Can you have to go where you Real ear one day, you cannot <sighs> pretend all the time. Next thing you know, him, him show up, all announce him, want surprise you one day. You say, All right, fuck's sake, why him announcing my ear not your guys? Why, honey? You said you were on the road, but I see you here at home. What's happening <laughs> exactly? <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> so if it's not your ear, if it's not your skin, because guys will always know that it's makeup you have on, right? Not Don't really. Don't trick the people them. Some are with food, Don't but trick the all. people them, son. Them think your skin naturally glows like that 24-7. Don't trick them. <laughs> Make them know the real you, all right? <laughs> um, the real bad girl, Chevy, say, you know where they are speaking and a girl say... What? But now I follow this stuff, you know. <laughs> bad girl, Chevy, you are a bad influence. So, yeah, pretentious people. Guys, just whoever you are, it's best you just come forth with it from the get-go. Just make me know, sir, this you come to the table with, yeah, the famous table that everybody likes to discuss, this is what you bring into the table, and make me decide whether this is what I'm going to work with or not. Because same thing, may I carry certain things? certain things to the table for you to decide if you can work with that and everybody who I'm interested in or something I want to date me and I get that that's fine we're going to put a topic what's on the table we're going to yeah. what's on the table yeah. I like that mm-hmm. alright so poor conversation skills that's number what four this is number s- like, hold on I can count <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Poor conversation skills. Not able to hold or maintain a conversation. It becomes sort of like an interview or even talking too much or not giving room for input in a conversation. Right? So, guys, the poor conversation skills. I personally have a big problem with this. I've gone on dates and I feel like it's an interview. Like, I uh, rock, rock my brain for see what's I going to ask them because... You know them people that always say, hi, how was your day? You good? All right, so so how your night going? All right, decent, you know. Oh, all right, so you like you like bread? Yeah. All right, I've been in those instances. What and it just can be for you? Me. <clears throat> me didn't know. I never cut the date short, but guys, I knew in that moment, yeah. this date not going nowhere. I, don't, I, I think that I don't. That happens with all right, ladies. You get that from well, that's true. Them probably gonna get that from guys. And I then, get that's all. I've, and well, worst, that's I've gotten that though. And then that's the worst thing, you know. You gotta have the nice girl, you know. I find some look a good boy, and I message them, and I get no good conversation. I'm man out there, I run them down for look a good conversation. Life weird, you know. It, it always is. And sensible man like me, you know. I try find you know. I don't know want to talk to them. I play hide and seek. Them I play hide and seek. I want, I've hey. actually said to people that. I realize, and I don't know, probably I need to do some research into it, but it seems like good people don't find good people. It's rare. You always have one decent person just genuinely want love. And there's just one person. I mean, if we just choose, make horrible decisions, yeah. we have horrible choices, maybe that really could be the case. And I know it's not 100% across the board because you do have pe- good people that find good people, but it's not very frequent. And what, I agree. What's the thing, Kim, right now is that, listen to me, who me wanna want me? So who want me? Me no want. <laughs> no idea. I just go out by the world right there, you know. It's yeah. like a one big love. We pass triangle now. This have too much size. What, what the look? What the most amount of size a polygon have? We don't know. Whatever it is, a milligan. Yeah. <laughs> I love milligan. That I love milligan. Yeah, that's right. Right. Real bad girl Chevy says some people love chat differently, you know. Uh, J. John Bell said, I get better conversation from my Alexa device than oh, with some. <laughs> no, a true thing. No, sir. I was talking to this girl one time. So I was like, hey, so you have kids? She said, yes. Uh, you just left it this, all right? That's it. Like, guys, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, right? simple, if you're not good at conversation, because we all have different strengths and weaknesses, yeah. just ask me about the same question. Simple answer. Just even say, just you know, ask and me you. Back, and you. Yeah, something. How about you? Yeah, you know what I mean? And yours, if you don't know nothing else, just know them simple responses I'll be there. Yes, know them, my girl. Yes, no, till I'm I know, I know multiple choice. I know short answer question. This is a date. <laughs> I'm supposed to be getting to know you more. You ask me certain things too. Right? And this is even sometime before the date. Probably you're, you exchange numbers with somebody and start message. And then yeah. the message, I'm going to say, is an interview like... No. Somebody said the poor communication skills is mostly affecting right now women below 30. Is that true? Hmm. We're going to go to the break. We're going to go to the break and one. come back. So people, <laughs> we're going to be right back. Talk the thing with Kim continues. Fantastic Friday. We're still there. I'm going to read out the numbers when we come back from the break because I didn't say a winner as yet. Get ready to win. <laughs> News Talk 93 FM. Heard everywhere.